Welcome back to another video here on the LMP channel. We're gonna be running around getting some video of this truck here today. We'll be following Ty around as he gets some shots of this beautiful 2004 59 Cummins that comes to five grand that you could be winning actually. So LMPgear.com, every $1.30 entries towards winning only until Sunday night. So get in on that while you can. We're gonna go grab some clips and I'm going to be kind of vlogging bits and pieces of it, but I'm also gonna be giving you my main reasons why I buy so many of these Cummins trucks and why specifically I love the five nines. And um, you know, it's another one of those things where it's just a personal preference, it's my opinion, but I do have a good reason for it. And I'm gonna share those reasons with you very soon. Ready to get some clips? Think they're gonna turn out good or bad? I mean, like after getting through our driveway, which is, a little bit like a Louisiana swamp land, actually. More like it to get through this place. Oh, dude, we could start duck hunting. I mean, look, we just put in a new pond. Give this girl a start. Let's go get some video. I'm gonna go through the top few reasons why I buy a lot of 5.9 Cummins trucks. Uh, Cummins trucks in general, but pre-missions, 5.9s, pretty much any generation of them. I'll be honest, guys, they're just really reliable trucks. Now I know all trucks have the shortcomings and they have things that are, you know, annoying tendencies that either need fixed or they got issues. Like I get it, but I'll be honest with you. I just have not had any experiences with those trucks that are like anything catastrophic. When it comes to simple things, to be reliable and cost effectively maintain them, it just seems to be a very low problem vehicle when it comes to anything of real substantial cost to fix, repair, maintain. It just seems like they're pretty solid trucks all around. Almost every 7.3 I've had, I've had to put glow plugs and relays and all, I mean, every, literally almost every single one, almost every single 7.3, even the, the nicest ones that I've had, I've had to buy them. And within like two weeks, you know, I've had to have a shop, you know, spend 1500 bucks to do glow plugs and relays and little random stuff and then they're right but uh, that seems to be a very common things on those my number one reason for buying as many Cummins trucks as I do in general specifically five nines is reliability I'll be honest guys the amount of miles you can get without problems or very 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 low cost problems out of a five nine Cummins compared to almost any other diesel trucks out there of the same generations it's pretty hard to beat I mean there's really not many other trucks that you can possibly list that are more reliable, cost effectively, than a 5.9 Cummins. I mean, it's just really hard to beat. I mean, yeah, you can say, oh, 7.3 is reliable. LBZ Duramax, those are reliable. Yeah, there are other reliable trucks. And a lot of those are not even necessarily like more reliable, but just reliable for what was available from that brand. Yes, very reliable trucks from, from those companies. But in terms of being more reliable and more low maintenance miles out of them, I just think it's hard to beat. I can get more low maintenance miles out of one of these trucks. I just feel like out of anything else I can buy. Therefore, that's why I buy those to give away to you guys because I want you guys to be able to have a truck that I personally can buy and do some stuff to you and give it to you and just feel confident that that's gonna be a reliable, solid truck for somebody and they should be able to get a lot of miles out of it without having a bunch of problems. Which is one of the reasons I don't buy 6.0 Power Strokes and I don't buy LB7 Duramaxes and stuff like that. I know that there's people that say you can do certain things and make them just as reliable as the most reliable trucks out there. But I honestly just cannot convince myself to give away a vehicle that I personally don't have a strong conviction that it's gonna be a reliable machine. Reason number two, cost of parts and maintenance. Guys, it is really hard to deny that the cost of Cummins trucks parts, especially the older trucks, the five nines, you know, the, the first gens, second gens, you know, so on and so forth. All the five nine trucks for the most part, it is really hard to deny the fact that they are some of the most cost effective trucks to own and operate. Injectors are usually cheaper, turbos are usually cheaper, Almost everything seems to be a lot cheaper to be able to replace. Like on a 12 valve, for example, you can get a full set of injectors for like 350 bucks. On a 97.73 of the same year, you're probably gonna be in like 1,350 bucks minimum for the same job. Um, and now that's just one example, but it's an important one to note because at some point it seems like you're gonna have to deal with injectors. You're gonna have to deal with you know a turbo or you're gonna have to deal with maintaining the vehicle and in a sense that's not necessarily just for fun like it's gonna be repaired sometimes because it's having issues and it's just really hard to deny the Cummins trucks especially the five nines are just much cheaper to 
operate, maintain, upgrade, etc. My third reason, style and design. Guys, I love the Cummins trucks in general. First gens, I know they were never popular back when they were first a thing, the first diesel trucks that came from Dodge. They weren't looked at as a super cool thing, but now of course, everybody wants one and they're just such a cool old school truck, but second gens especially, they're just iconic. I love the styling of those trucks. There's not very many trucks in O2 that I look at and I go, oh, that's such a cool iconic design. That's just, you know, hard to beat. For these trucks, the second gens, so on and so forth, I just love the design. Even the newer ones, like the newer fourth gens, fifth gens, the third gens, I just love those trucks and the designs of them, even though they may seem simple, I love the design concept of those trucks more than the other brands and what they have to offer. Again, it's just personal preference because I know there's guys that absolutely hate them, but in my opinion, they're some of the best looking trucks to buy. And for my fourth reason and my final reason, resellability. It is just hard to deny, at least in the current market in the past handful of years, more and more people are realizing that the older Cummins trucks, more specifically compared to the newer ones, the resale value on these trucks is absurd. Whether it's a first gen, a clean second gen, a clean third gen, the amount of money guys are able to get out of these things, even some of these trucks that are absolutely ran up with miles, it's pretty ridiculous. And I say that because like, even my wife's truck, for example, when that truck was purchased back in 2018, 2017, you know, it might've only been like a $12,000 truck at the time, but that truck, is probably worth exponentially more than that now. And she's got more miles on it and it's five or six years older than it was back when they originally bought it. And the thing of it is, they just, the truck still just runs great. It doesn't have a lot of problems. But in the last like five years plus, I've just noticed like as new trucks keep coming out, these old ones, even if the miles keep going up, the pricing just kind of has been holding its ground pretty firm for a while. And I don't think that's gonna change as long as your truck is clean and desirable. I think the pricing and the demand for that truck is gonna be there for a long time. Hopefully you see some of those points the same way that I do. If you don't, totally understand. But just keep in mind, whatever you like is what you like. If buy what you want, buy what makes you happy. Don't buy what you think is gonna make you happy though and then ends up being a money pit and it literally digs you a grave and buries you in it because that's no fun. But buy what you like, buy what you want. But these are my reasons for why I prefer the 5.9 Cummins trucks more specifically. Cummins trucks in general are just great, but the 5.9s especially, it's just hard to beat them. They're very desirable. They're solid running trucks, low maintenance, very cost effective to own and maintain and uh, very cost effective to upgrade too if that's what you want to do. That's all around some of my biggest reasons for buying these trucks. And I think you guys will see a lot of those points the same way that I do. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.